So welcome back to the third and final video. In the first one, you'll learn how to control the mind. The second one, how to take care of your body. Now, the third pillar, this is the bridge connecting the mind and the body. And this is the glue holding both together. The third one is meditation. How to connect the mind and body through meditation. Now, out there, there are so many meditations, modalities, many techniques. I'm going to tell you what I did. I'm not giving you some uh, mystical or uh, philosophical concepts. This is not theory. This is real, what I did to heal myself. So after I learned how to control my mind and how to take care of my body, meditation was the connection. I went uh, with the monks from Thailand, so they, they, they taught me how to do it. That's my own style. How, that's how they taught me, how they taught me how to do it. So they told me, because for me it was a little bit difficult to put my mind in the right direction. And they told me, no, 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 don't, don't make effort. Just close your eyes. You can have a seat or you can lie down, close your eyes and focus your attention in your breath. Breathing in, breathing out. For me it was difficult. I couldn't do anything until the head monk of the monastery told me. For example, close your eyes and imagine a candle right in front of you and put your, all your attention in that candle. And every time that the mind is wandering, try to bring it back to the candle. I was trying to do it. It was a little bit uncomfortable. And he said, do you like flowers? And I said, yes, of course. I'm a kind of romantic guy. So imagine, what is your favorite flower? And I said, tulips. He said, close your eyes and see that tulip right in front of you and keep your focus right there. And every time your mind is wandering, bring it back to the tulip. So that's what I was doing every single day, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 45 minutes. So this is what, I'm, this is what I used to do and I'm gonna show you. So you close your eyes, you can sit in the lotus position or in the chair. Me, I put my hands like this and I close my eyes and I imagine a tulip, red tulip, right in front of me. And I start breathing, start breathing. And I keep my attention in that tulip. And every time my mind is elsewhere, I bring it back. I bring back my awareness and I stay, stay there. Now, the first time something magical happened. In my mind was like, I couldn't even see the flower. I, I wanted to see the flower. I wanted to try to see different images, but no. All my thoughts were coming and going, coming and going, coming and going. I was feeling so peaceful, centered, poised. I was like in, a, in ecstasy in that, in that moment. And I didn't want to, 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 I wanted to stay there forever. I stayed for like a couple of hours. And I've been doing that type of meditation. It's kind of mindfulness meditation for many, many, many years. And I practice every single day in the morning, some, uh, uh, at night. And for me, that's the best way to connect the mind and your body through meditation. And again, this is not philosophical. This is practical. What I did to get well and hit myself. So if you put into practice how to control your mind, how to take care of your body, and meditation, your health, your body, physically and mentally, will improve. Thank you for taking time to watch my videos. I hope to see you soon. Thank you.